Today we continue our series on new commanders from Commander Legends 2 Battle for Baldur's Gate. Although I love how pairing up monocolored legends with backgrounds means you can open up color identities, sometimes you only need one color to accomplish your goals. Before we get to the video, I'd like to quickly ask you to like and subscribe. I've been ecstatic with the growth this channel has had so far, and I'm excited to see where we're going. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash One of the tiers is specifically set up for Commander. For only $25, I will build you a custom Commander deck based around your specifications, and even do a deck video on it. With that out of the way, let's get to the video. Sivris Nightmare Speaker is a 4-mana 3-3 Legendary Snake Cleric Warlock. We can tap Severus and sacrifice another creature or artifact. If we do, for each opponent, we mill a card. We can then return that card to our hand unless that opponent pays 3 life. And, like all monocolored legendary creatures from Battle for Baldur's Gate, we can pick a background. Agent of the Iron Throne is a legendary enchantment that makes all of our commanders aristocrats. Specifically, whenever an artifact or creature we control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. That's right, this is another Aristocrats deck. A mono black one to be precise. The thing I love about Aristocrats decks is how they play like a combo deck but are synergistic in nature. Every card interacts with every other card in interesting and fun ways. Additionally, playing against an Aristocrats deck rarely feels oppressive, unless you're running cards like Grave Pact. The deck is slow and grindy and has a difficult path on playing against faster decks, which is why we want some stacks effects to help keep our opponents honest. Before we get into the deck, we should really keep in mind our checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, 1 sudden I win card. Now, all aristocrat decks have 3 moving pieces. Sacrifice outlets, creatures to sacrifice, and payoffs for sacrificing. Ideally, our sacrifice outlets should let us sacrifice as many creatures as we want, but that isn't always an option. Our unlimited sacrifice outlets are Viscera Seer, Carrion Feeder, Woe Strider, and Ashnod's Altar. For one-offs or limited sacrifice, we have Cultist of the Absolute, Vampiric Rites, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, Arya, First of Lothwain, Bontu the Glorified, Ghoul Caller Gisa, Culling the Weak, Village Rites, Deadly Dispute, Plum the Forbidden, and Victimize. Now, that's a lot of sacrifice effects, so we're going to need a lot of token generators. We have the already mentioned Ghoul Caller Gisa, as well as Doomed Dissenter, Dreadhorde Invasion, Rise of the Dread Marn, Gisa, Glorious Resurrector, Sengir Autocrat, and Endric Sar, Master Breeder. Our aristocrat payoffs include Zulaport Cutthroat, Blood Artist, Bastion of Remembrance, Vindictive Vampire, and Sir Conrad the Grim. Vito, Thor of the Duskrose, and Sanguine Bond basically double up all of our aristocrat triggers, and Grey Merchant of Asphodel can win us the game out of nowhere. For interaction, we're running Defile, Tragic Slip, Feed the Swarm, Demon's Disciple, Fleshbag Marauder, Plague Crafter, Baleful Mastery, The Eldest Reborn, Zat's Will is our first piece of graveyard hate, Swift Foot Boots for protection, and God Pharaoh's Statue and Rug of Smothering to slow down our opponents. For board wipes, we're running Massacre Worm and Vona's Hunger. For card advantage, we have the already mentioned Village Rites, Victimize, Deadly Dispute, Vampiric Rites, and Plum the Forbidden, but we're also running Body Count, Grim Harsipex, Skull Clamp, Sign in Blood, Read the Bones, Siphon Mind, and Dark Prophecy. Mana Ramp, I've already mentioned Ashnod's Altar and Culling the Weak, but we also have a Dark Ritual as another ritual, Crypt Ghast as a Mana Doubler, Wayfarer's Bauble, Burnished Heart, and Solemn Simulacrum to fetch lands, Bontu's Monument for cost reduction, Soul Ring, Mindstone, 
Arcane Signet, and Charcoal Diamond as mana rocks, and Black Market, which can generate a ton of mana in our deck. Finally, a Bajuka Bog is our second piece of Graveyard Hate, and 36 Swamps. So let's see how our deck compares to our checklist. 50 mana sources split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 12 pieces of card advantage, 11 pieces of interaction, 2 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. So the deck checks all the boxes, but is it fun to play? Is this deck for you? If you're wanting a fast, explosive deck that can win on turn 6, this is not for you. Aristocrats is not a fast archetype. It is slow, grindy, and difficult to pilot. In my opinion, Cycling or Madness decks, Aristocrat decks, and Spellslinger decks are the hardest decks to master in Commander. But they are the most fun to play. Every card you draw, every creature you cast, changes the board state in interesting ways, so it can feel chaotic at times. But when everything comes together, Aristocrats decks are a thing of beauty. Now, as far as upgrades go, other than better lands like Urborg Two of Yawgmoth, Cabal Coffers, or cost reducers like Jet Medallion, I'd look at adding the Meat Hook Massacre, some Tutors, Pitiless Plunderer, Shieldred Whispering One and Agadim's Awakening for additional graveyard recursion, Toxic Deluge and Black Sun Zenith for improved board wipes, and one of my favorite cards to play after wiping the board, Thrilling Encore. But even without the upgrades, the deck is fun to play. As I'm sure you're aware, the play pattern takes a bit of getting used to. With so many moving parts, it can feel like your deck isn't going anywhere. Just keep practicing with it. Remember, you want all three pieces of your deck to function. Creatures to sacrifice, sacrifice outlets, and payoffs. Once you've got it down, you'll see just how much fun Aristocrats can be. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, there's a link to her Fiverr page below. I post new Commander Deck videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or you can click here to watch additional videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.